Yes, not three. Hey. The okay. So it's only the one. Welcome okay. back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. Yes. So I was emphasizing a point. Let's wait for Jessica. Jessica is not yet here, but I know she will join in. I was emphasizing a point of the second method, the second method of field work, where, like Omega had put it, unfortunately, Jessica is not here yet. Jessica didn't uh, what uh, didn't put this answer well, but I know we shall repeat for her. So, uh, Jessica is here. So, uh, I was saying three marks are awarded for this part. Yeah, the first mark is for the definition. The second mark is for application. The last mark is for the, for the, for the example. Yeah, so you define, after defining measurement, which we have defined well, the next paragraph, please, you go to action straight. There is no time. There is no time to write any other thing because any other thing you write has no marks for it. You go straight, you go straight and start answering. Yeah, using, using pacing. Yeah, we estimated, we estimated the distance between Old Port Bell Road and Mbuya Nile Ply Factory, which were, I don't remember the paces, but which were maybe 200 paces. I mean strikes, strides, strides. Yeah. Okay. Using pacing, we estimated the distance between Old Port Bell Road and Mbuya Nile Ply Factory, which was 120 strides, full stop. Jessica wanted to bring in the thing of uh, we divided what, what? No, 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 no. That one, you don't bring it here. We shall, play, we shall come to that part. When we are doing the follow-up, eh? when we are doing the follow-up, when we say we compared data, we compared information, you know? You compare, after comparing, then you come up to conclusive answer. That's where we shall give that part, Jessica will say. Here, there is no that part. Eh? And this time now, you should learn to write smartly. That's why uh, I, I was looking at uh, I was looking at these results. By the way, like I told you, I, I don't like people to fail. Nobody failed paper three. <laughs> Nobody got a pass eight. Nobody got F nine. But I had two students who got pass seven, and I felt bad. I felt bad. Yeah, I felt bad because uh, my wish is that nobody should, everybody should get credit. And I had two students with the pass seven. And geography, I had 90 candidates. You remember the paper? I told you if you looked at the paper, if you, if you remember the paper, I was so much worried that they are going to fail. But I thank God that at least uh, but there are people who got distinctions. I saw two students with distinctions. And to score a distinction, that means you have scored 85 and above. Wow. Yeah, I had do two people with distinction in paper three. And you remember the paper? Rita, did you look at the paper? Is there anyone here who saw the exam? Yes. Yeah. Because they, they moved out in class telling me, ah, teacher. Sorry, ah. You brought us a time. Sorry? I, I, I brought you the paper in class. OK. Yes. Ah, okay. So in that paper, two people got you distinction. Class. Hey, two people got distinction. I was so happy. I was so happy when I saw the results. Hey, and teacher, that was good. Yes, yes. And uh, and uh, and uh, well, we didn't have A, but we have Bs. I don't know. Eight people got Bs. Mm -hmm. Although we missed an A, but around eight people had a B in geography. Wow. Uh -huh. You know. <laughs> That's, that's so good. Yeah. So, uh, but to reach here, you have to be smart in writing. Yeah. And for you, Alake, 
just because COVID has interrupted us, these things we are doing them early. We are doing them early. The work you have, you people who are at home now, the work you have at home there, if you concentrate that work is enough for you to pass. We did the field work. The point you left, we are now doing fall up. You know, I can say geography three is done. Okay? Geography three is done. There's no more work to do. If you concentrate on the work you have there, everything is okay. Let's go back to our thing. So now, uh, that's how you, you state now. <clears throat> that is one method. I've told you how marks are awarded. Yeah, you have three marks there. If, if the definition is not correct, I don't, I don't need to mark the second part. You know, I don't need to mark the second part. If the second part is not correct, I don't need to mark the first part. If the second part is not correct, I don't need to mark the example. Nothing, nothing. So for you, to, the, the three marks, you either get all or you get zero. You have to get them all or you get zero. That is it, clear as that. But you can become very good in this paper if you practice. Like you see, I'm emphasizing field work. Every time we meet on this Zoom, I'm talking field work because that is a compulsory question, which we are sure of. All these questions we are talking about, one of them will appear. Yeah, we are sure of that question. Which question you can score 25 out of 25. For you to get 25 out of 25 in section B, you really need to be good. It's called an excellent essay. Excellent essay for you to score 25 in section B. So, but this one, section A, you can see the answers we are given. Spot on. Simple statement, two paragraphs, but the answer is there. The answer is there. So please concentrate, concentrate, practice on these questions. So I would like to, before we go to the next method, I would like to chip in another question of the advantages of these methods. I don't know if you know them. Eh? And how do we state answers for the advantages of this method? Eh? What are the merits? Because it can come, what are the merits of using a measurement? Jessica, I start with you. Jessica, are you there? Teacher, can I try? Please. <coughs> yeah. So let me try. Please, please, no problem. Um, when we are explaining the advantages of using methods. We we use percent because we shall be talking about the methods that we, we use in the field. So when you're yes. not giving the advantages, you will use percent. And then we attach the merits of the method. And then add some explanation, maybe. So for example, for, for measurements. We shall say for the advantages, measurement was flexible. Since different tools and techniques were used. So I don't know how to explain the rest of the things, but me, I what, what I know, we use past tense and then we, we attach the, the merit of the above what the, the method that we use. Then also first hand information was obtained using measurement since tools were used. Which I don't know how much uh, how I need to add, but that is all I can say for measurement. Mm. Yeah, the advantages, like you have said, use past tense. Uh, but uh, mm, you, what you have to put is to put the reason, the reason why the method is advantageous. I don't know if you have got what I'm saying. Yeah, it is flexible because we, 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 we are easy, it is easy to, yeah, to change the results there and then. You just twist the method. If you're using a tape measure, it was flexible. Okay? Whatever you want to do with a tape measure, you can do it. Yeah? So that, you put 
if, if the advantage is this, you put the reason why that advantage is like that. Let me give you another example. Observation, it is cheap. Why, why was it cheap? Yeah, because we used our naked eyes. We use our naked eyes. Nobody pays for sight, you know? That's how we stayed. And of course we use the past ten. Sorry about that. To just see that, please also read your notes, such that in the next uh, in the next lesson we can talk more about the the advantages and the demerits of these methods. Today, let's handle this part of the application. Then the other part we shall handle later. Now, I would like someone else to pick one method and do what we have done. Uh, Irene is too quiet. Irene. Yes, sir. Uh huh. First of all, you sound very good. I, I thought you were even in the kitchen. You see this Zoom here? If someone has no video, can be in the kitchen and leaves you alone there, you talk alone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, it's possible. Uh, so, Irene. Yes, sir. Please explain to us. Just pick one method and explain to us how how this you can answer. Okay. Mm. Observation method. This involves mm. using naked eyes with, uh, with the help of other sense to see the physical features in the third. For example, we used our naked eyes to see the We used our naked, the, uh, naked eyes to see the, the physical features around Mbuya Hill. For example, we saw the MTN mask. So, uh, you know, Rita, if you write like that, you have no answer. You can even hear how you sound. You don't, you don't sound uh, very amazing. Huh? If you write like that, Rita, do you think I will get a mark? Now, seeing first of all, your definition is not correct. Your definition is so not. I read not read. Uh, e e e Rita, how many times have we been talking about these things? Up to now, you need to read. Rita. No, hey. it's not me, Irene. Uh, yes, I'm talking to. I've been mentioning Rita. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. I let me now stay. Irene, if you Irene, if you write like that, you have no marks. Doesn't Your definition sound. is not correct. That's not how we define observation. You first listen from Omega. So Mr. No, I wanted to ask some question. Eh? Yeah. Like when you answer, like you answer and such a question, do you first uh, begin by uh, defining the method? Yes, the question says explain how describe how you use the following methods during your data collection observation i've told you the first answer is the definition which is correct okay yeah yes okay. which is correct don't don't define like rita i mean don't define like <laughs> irene i don't know why i keep calling you rita. like my name <laughs> okay. don't define okay, like irene hmm? let me now try let me now try yeah. Try. Um, we use we use observation method. First, define first define the method. Don't start again. We use observation. You say observation. You see the question is how okay. did you use the following methods in your data collection? Observation straight away you got definition. Okay. Okay. Yes. Observation observation is the method which involves use use of eyes with the help of other senses to see geographical phenomena in the field and sort out information about them. Um, using observation, we got first-hand information since geographical features were seen directly. 
Alpha, that is not correct. Can we have, I try we have also again? failed. Teacher, hey. let me try. Um, observation methods involved using of eyes with the help of other senses to see geographical phenomenon in the field and sort out information about them. We used our naked eyes to see physical features around Muya Hill, which included Muyenga Hill, Lake Victoria Basin, Mansion Bay Swamp, south of Muya Hill. Very good. That's how it is now. Hey, Omega, let me tell you the, the mistake you made in yours. <clears throat> yours, hey, I don't remember very well. You defined, yes, you somehow defined well. Um, when you start the next paragraph, uh -huh, you don't again repeat using observation. After defining, you have already explained to me what observation means. Now, go to the action point. Go to the action point direct like we did the first method of measurement we defined the measurement the next point was using a tape measure and you alpha you are the one who put it well even this one after after defining observation this is the use of naked eyes not only eyes eh? people are missing out that part but it's important this is the use of naked eyes with the help of other senses with the help of other senses to see geographical phenomena, yeah? And sort out information on them. Irene, you missed all that part. I mean, uh, yeah, Irene. So, <laughs> so after there, the next thing, the next paragraph is action. Huh? We saw, huh? even if I don't repeat using our eyes, we saw. I don't know why you are repeating that because which other way can you see without using eyes? <laughs> Rita, are you following? <laughs> yes. Because, uh, because I had you in your statement. Using our eyes, we saw. But you see that, that paragraph, there, those words you are writing there? Eh? They, mm -hmm. are not, they, are not, they are not necessary. They are not necessary. You got the real action, we saw. In, in any case, if you don't put using our eyes, Rita, is there any other way you see apart from using eyes? With the legs, <laughs> no. <laughs> so I, I just got the next thing. Eh? I just got the next thing. Uh -uh. I'm in a meeting. We saw, we saw different physical features around Mbuya Hill. For example, Lake Victoria Benson, south of Mbuya Hill. Full stop. What a nice answer. Eh? <laughs> you, you go straight to the you go straight to the action. Hmm? We saw hmm? we saw different types of land use. Eh? Just from our topic, we saw different types of land use around Mbuya Hill. For example, eh? Bugolobi Ma oh, Bugolobi Market, that's trade and commerce, south of Mbuya Hill. That is one. Animal rearing, yeah? Crop banana plantation in Giza Giza, south of Mbia Hill. We keep referring to that part, like Rita put it. Eh? So when you look at that answer we have submitted, the first mark is for the definition. The second mark is for the action that you have done. The third mark is that point, that point where you put, for example, you know, when you put that point of, for example, it really puts emphasis that this person carried out the field work. This person carried out field work. This person is not lying because there's no way you can give examples if you really didn't reach for the field. Okay? So that is observation for you. I'm going to, so Jessica, I really hope you are following this thing well. So I'm going, and even Irene, yeah? Irene, you told me, you have not read. But Irene, what point will you revise? Huh? Oh, Irene, all these months you have been at home. Do you, do, you, do you help your parents in business, Irene? No. Uh -huh. So now why don't you revise? Eh? 
I'm very sure. Thank you. You, uh, hey. Now, uh, I'm going to ask. Uh, I'm going to ask who now? You, you people, you are very few. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, Rita again. Rita, you have to do for me sampling. Sampling? Yes. How are okay, you? Rita. How are you? Uh, you first go away. I'm in a meeting. Yes. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. We are good. <laughs> Okay, sampling, do it for me. Sampling mm. involves taking parts of the whole population to represent the whole. Using a hole and a spade, we scoop a sample of soil at Mbuyaki and found out that it was letteratic soil formed as a result of excessive leaching. Wow. It's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. That's a good one. Thank you, Rita. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Alpha, Alpha, you are going to do one method called recording. God damn. Just try what you can, we shall correct you. Yes, okay, sir. Mm. Um, recording involves a uh, use of. Sorry, sorry, sir. Um, let me let me start your fresh. Yeah? No problem. Daddy, it you go look at one play from there. <laughs> Alpha, do, we, do you need help? Ask. No, no, no. Just look at the list there. Ask someone to help you. Oh, you don't need to sweat alone. You have uh, Rita, you have Jessica, you have Irene. Mm -hmm. Ask any of them to help you. Okay, Rita, Rita, first help me to define. Finish on your recording. Mm. Yes, recording. Recording involves noting down information. In the okay. I think yes. that is the difference. And just in yes. the writing or noting down. I think it's the, the noting down of information in the field. Yeah, yeah. You don't even uh, don't even doubt your answer. That is the answer. Yeah, just noting down, writing down or noting down the information in the field. That's the definition. And how did you apply? Uh -huh. using, using a pen and a paper. Uh -huh. He wrote the physical features around Mbuya Hill, which included the Tibubu camp south of Mbuya Hill. Good. Alf, have you heard? Yes. Uh -huh. <coughs> so I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask uh, Jessica. Jessica, you are going to do we are going to do interviewing. Jessica, are you there, please? Jessica's went off. Jessica's gone off the line. Let me ask Irene now, I have no choice. Ah, Jessica is back. Me. Jessica, please, I how do you define here, <laughs> my, my network? Your network, your network. Go, network. Enter the ceiling, enter the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, since your, net, your network has saved you, your network has saved you. <laughs> now, Irene with better network. 
please uh, please talk to us about interviewing. Teacher, I'm just praying. No problem. Nobody's going to crucify you. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hey. You, this involves yes. face-to-face yes. interaction between the between the the person who asks question is called what? The person who asks is, is the researcher. Uh, between the yeah, okay, thank you, sir. Hey. Interviewing method this involves face to face interaction between the researcher and the respondent. We you yes. like we we ask question. Ah. Hey, 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 Irene, you have you have not yet finished the uh, definition. It is incomplete. Teacher, let Alpha help me out. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, this involves a face to face interaction between the researcher and the respondent, where the researcher asks oral questions and the respondent gives uh, oral answers. Irene, now can you repeat? Because uh, Alpha said the definition, repeat it. This involves face to face interaction between the researcher and the respondent, where the, whereby the researcher asks all the questions and, uh, to the respondent, and the respondents re, re, reply the all questions or answers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Irene, Irene. No, no, you are, you are trying, you are trying. <laughs> now, let, let me. Uh, <laughs> fine, now, let me explain to you the two definitions. In that definition, there is a researcher, okay? In the definition also, there is a respondent. The researcher, uh -huh, the researcher asks oral questions and the respondent gives oral answer. So Irene, what you have to just say, and the respondent gives all answers. Full stop. This is, this involves an interaction. Okay. An interaction between two people. Huh? Where, or an interaction between two people, where the researcher asks oral questions, and the respondent gives or answers. In other words, if I can add your words, Irene, you say, this is a face-to-face -face interaction between two people. The two people in, uh, involved are the researcher and the respondent. Mm -hmm. Where the researcher asks oral questions and the respondent gives oral answers. That's how we define interviewing. It's different from questionnaire. Because sometimes the students, uh, the students uh, think that questionnaire and this one are the same. Questionnaire is different. Questionnaire, uh, questionnaire involves. Uh, okay. Do I have you people? Yes. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Questionnaire involves a, 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 a researcher typing or forming questions related to the topic, and these questions are sent, are sent to the respondent earlier. Yeah? You know, I, I write, I write uh, how old are you? Uh, what is uh, your sex? Uh, how, much, how many children do you have? How much money do you earn? If I'm doing research on this, I send you a paper before, eh? then you answer on the paper, then you send the paper back to me. That is, that is a questionnaire. Different from interviewing. This interviewing is face-to-face, is face-to-face, face-to-face interaction between the two people. So uh, we are, I can see we are going to another break. Uh, then uh, then uh, after the break, after the break, we shall come back. So when I go off, please log in. Then we finish this part of the of the of the methods. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> now 
like uh, Irene, uh, I know in the future you will Yeah. <laughs> Irene, are you listening? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. When a woman and a man meet for, to ask, when a man is asking for a hand of marriage, it has to be face to face. It has to be interaction <laughs> between, it, it has to be interaction between the man and the woman. Please don't accept on Facebook. Huh? Don't accept on Facebook. <laughs> Eh? Also, don't accept on WhatsApp. No, don't accept on WhatsApp or Facebook. Yes. Or what, I don't know other means. The person has to look into your eyes and ask you, will you marry me? You, you look at the person very well, whether the eyes yeah. mean seriousness or is lying. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't worry, this time you will come. Uh, this time you will come. Right now it has not yet come, but you will come. So this is also the meaning of interviewing. You have to meet face to face, like you went to the field. You went to the field and met face to face. Now, I, I, Irene, now you try to apply the method because you are continuing with your submission. We, yes, Irene. Uh, we, we asked. One of the, one of the, okay, sorry, we asked the chairperson of Giza Giza, of Giza Giza village about the historical background of, of Giza Giza. And teacher, teacher, I'm confusing it. Let Alpha help me out. <laughs> okay. What, what, what was your point? He's trying to apply the method of interviewing. Okay. Um, we, uh, should I first begin by defining? Yes, you can repeat, no problem. Okay. Interviewing uh, is a method which involves face-to-face uh, -face interaction between the researcher and the respondent, where the researcher asks oral questions and respondent gives oral answers. We, we asked Mr. Lawrence Ndisimye, LC1 chairperson, the problems faced by the residents of Giza Giza village south of Mboya Hill, and he told us that there is a problem of poor garbage disposal which leads to outbreak of epidemic diseases. Mm. Alpha, thank you for saving Irene always. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, now Irene is not Irene is not doing work because he thinks you are there. <laughs> uh, uh, so I know next time Irene will be the one saving you now. Because now, next lesson, I'll be concentrating on Irene. Okay. So, yes, uh, I don't know whether Jessica is still around. Yeah, Jessica is around. Yes. Jessica, you are going to do, you are going to do, yes, have we finished we all the methods? Yeah. Uh -huh. We have, we have finished observation. We have done interviewing. We have done sampling. We have done measurement. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. What else do you think you can do? Mm. Observation. Uh, finished it. Now, this time I want to, I want, uh, I, I would like you to ask any question for those who are around that uh, I can answer before we pray for. If that is, if there is a question. That's you. Teacher, how about like yes. how, how do we define the like if if they give us okay if we choose um, 
like using map like I've forgotten how that word is, but I saw it somewhere. Like, how did you use mouth? You break your bicycle again. Yeah. Okay. Which method is that? Map sketching? Yeah, map sketching. Hey, oh, map. Map orientation. Map orientation. Yeah, map orientation. Map orientation. Is there any of you on this group who are, 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 are knows the meaning of map orientation? No. No. Now, map orientation, this is the meaning of map orientation. Uh, they give you, like uh, right now, as I talk, I'm in Bukorovi. Uh, then you get a map, which we can call a base map. Then they ask you to rotate the map, yeah, to rotate the map on the actual ground to see whether the features which are on the the features which are on the map, yeah, uh, um, I don't know how I can put it. The features on the map uh, relate directly with the features on the ground. For example, if you have a map and you have Bugolobi Market. If you get that map and rotate it, eh, is it true that uh, with the market that you have on the map is the same market that is on the actual ground? So in other words, this is how we define map orientation. This is where we use a base map. We use the base map to locate the features on the actual ground. Yeah. So in this case, we rotated, we rotated a base map of Kampala, yeah? And we really discovered, and we discovered that Imbuya Hill, yeah? Or we discovered that Giza Giza market, Giza Giza village is south of Mbuya Hill. That is map orientation. Eh? You get something and do the fact finding that really, if we have this feature here on the map, when you go to the actual ground, does it really exist? That is map orientation. That's map orientation. By definition is where we use a base map to relate the features on the actual ground. How do you apply the method? You say, we used a base map of Kampala. You rotated it on the actual ground and we really noticed that Giza Giza village is actually located south of Umbia Hill. In other words, you are, you are proving that what is on the map actually exists on the ground. Is it okay? No. <laughs> now I'm going to I'm going to ask you. Uh, I'm going to ask you to go and read. I, I I don't read somewhere about it, but that's how. That's why I didn't give it to you because we are not going to use it. We are not going to use it. That's why I didn't give it to you. But map orientation means uh, you get the actual map. Now we are in Kampala. That's where I am now in Rugolobi. If I get a map, eh, a map, topographical map of Kampala, you remember those maps you use in paper one. If I get it and I start relating the features on the map and the features on the actual ground, is there a correlation? Eh? You see some orientation in it. That's the meaning of map orientation. Eh? So if, if you have seen, then you have to prove that really where St. is 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 the same place that it that this is where it is also located on the map. No. So you state it that using using the base map of Kampala, we really we saw that St. is to SS Bolobi is found south of Umbuya Hill. So it is a fact. Mm. Okay, hey, that's what we do. That's what you, 